Hi, welcome to Math Movies with Ms. Feuerbeck and Ms. Baludi. Today we will be multiplying and dividing decimals using the powers of 10. You should have already watched the powers of 10 math movie, and you should already recall that when you move the decimal place to the right, that's the same thing as multiplying by 10, and if you're moving the decimal place to the left one place, that's the same thing as dividing by 10. Today we're going to practice those skills using decimals. So here are a couple of example problems. If we look at the top here, we have 0.48 or 48 hundredths times 10, and we also have 48 hundredths times 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look here at 48 times 10, and knowing that we're working here with the powers of 10, and I know that when I move the decimal place to the right one place, that's the same thing as timesing 10, I'm going to do just that. So I have 48 hundredths. I'm going to move my decimal place one spot to the right. That indicates that I am multiplying by 10. I have now moved my decimal place, and my final answer is 4 and 8 tenths. I can do the same thing with 40 hundredths times 100. So I'm taking my original problem, and what I'm going to do is knowing that 100 is made up of 10 times 10, I can do 48 hundredths times 10, which would be taking my decimal place and moving it to the right once, as we just did in the previous problem. And now I can do 48 hundredths times 100, where I'm moving the decimal place two places to the right, one for each multiplication of 10. I added that zero there, or I tacked on that zero there, to serve as a placeholder so that I could represent what I was really solving. So my final answer is 480. Down below I have a couple of division problems, and I'm starting with 375 divided by 10, and then I'm also going to look at 375 divided by 100. So let's start with 375 divided by 10. Now I know that when I divide by 10, every time I divide by 10, I am moving my decimal place to the left once. So if I look at 375, the decimal place is here to the right of the 5, and every time I divide by 10, I'm moving my decimal place one spot to the right. That's the same thing, sorry, one spot to the left. That's the same thing as division of 10. So I've taken away this decimal point and I've moved it over. That means that my final answer is 37.5, or 37 and 5 tenths. Looking over here, 375 divided by 100 is the same thing as 375 divided by 10, divided by 10 again. So I'm going to do that in two steps. I've already done the first step, which is doing 375 divided by 10 just once and I got 37.5. We did that earlier. Now I'm going to take 375 and I'm going to divide that by 100. I'm going to take my decimal point and I'm going to move it to the left once and twice to show that I'm dividing by 10 and 10 again. That leaves me with my decimal point here, 3 Point seven five or 3 and 75 hundredths. Let's practice a little bit more. So on this page, now we have 65 hundredths times 100. So I'm going to practice by knowing that when I multiply, I'm moving my decimal place to the right for each multiplication of 10. So this is the same thing as 10 times 10. Sometimes it helps to put a story context into these problems. So I'm going to think about for now that let's imagine that this 65 hundredths is 65 cents per candy bar and the store is buying 100 candy bars. So we want to know how much money are they spending on 100 candy bars if each one costs 65 cents. So let's figure that out. We have 65 hundredths. And because I'm multiplying by 10, I'm going to move my decimal place to the right twice. So I'm going to move the decimal place to the right once, and that's times 10. 
and then again to do times 10 once more. So my decimal place has now ended here. That means that the answer is 65, or in other words, the store would be spending $65 to buy 100 candy bars at 65 cents each. All right, let's take a look at another problem. Here we have 137.49 times 1,000. So let's think about it in terms of money again. Let's say that each concert ticket costs $137.49 and 1,000 people go to the concert. So how much money was spent in total on all the concert tickets that were sold? Well, let's figure that out. We're gonna start with 137 and 49 hundredths. And in order to figure this out, I know that 1,000 is the same thing as 10 times 10 times 10. So that means that I need to move my decimal place to the right three times one time for each group of 10. So let's take a look at how we're going to do that. We'll move it to the right once, to the right a second time, and to the right a third time. So my decimal place ends up here. Now in order to, I need a placeholder here at the end in order to uh, indicate that there is a decimal point to the right of that. So my final answer is this, and what I need to do is plop in my comma, so we have $137,490 was spent on all 1,000 tickets if each one cost $137.49. Now I've taken those exact two problems, but this time I've replaced them with division. So we're working with 65 hundredths divided by 100, and down here we're also going to work with division. So let's go through them one at a time. I'm actually going to start on the bottom problem because I think it's a little bit easier. So we're working here with 137.49 divided by 1,000. Once again, 1,000 is 10 times 10 times 10. Now because we're talking about division, that means that we're going to need to move that decimal place to the left three times, once for each 10. So I'm going to write this down. We have 137.49, and we're going to move that decimal spot to the left once for this 10, to the left twice for this 10, and to the left a third time for the third 10. That means our decimal place is going to be on the left of the 1. So I'm going to rewrite that problem. Oops. And there's our final answer, 0.13749. Alright, let's try the one at the top. So here we have 65 hundredths divided by 100. So we could think about that in a lot of different ways. Maybe we could think about that as 65 hundredths of a gram of gold, and we're dividing that into 100 equal size pieces. So how many grams of gold is each of those pieces worth? So let's take a look. If we have 65 hundredths, and I'm knowing that 100 is made up of 10 times 10, I need to move my decimal place to the left two times, once for each group of 10. So I'm going to start by moving my decimal place to the left once, and I'm going to move it again twice. My decimal place will end up here. Now, if I were to just write that like this, it would be unclear what my number was. It would actually look like 65 hundredths with a big space. So I need to put in the decimal, I need to put in the zeros to hold those spots. Okay? So our final answer here is 65 ten thousandths. Sometimes you will also encounter problems that work with the powers of 10 that don't just involve 10 and 100 and 1,000. Sometimes we'll be working with numbers like 20 or 500. So let's practice that for a moment. Let's say this time that we're working with that same problem about the candy bars. The candy bars are 65 cents, but instead of a box of 100, the store only wants to buy 20. So we're going to practice using a similar method. We're going to take 20 
We're going to think about 20 as the same thing as 2 times 10. So what I'm going to do first is I need to multiply 65 hundredths. I'm going to multiply that times 10 first, all right? And that's going to bring me to, moving that to the right ones, 6 and 5 tenths, or $6.50. And now I need to multiply that times 2. Well, I know that 6 times 2 is 12, and a half times 2 is 1, so that's 12 plus 1, or 13. Okay? So that means that 65 hundredths times 20 is 13. In other words, the 65 cent candy bars, 20 of them would cost $13. Alright, let's take a look at this second problem. We have 100 times 500. So I know that 500 is made up of 5 times 100. And I'm going to use that to help me solve this problem. I could also think of this problem as if I have 500 pennies, how, much, how many dollars is that worth? So let's look at this. If I'm starting with 100 and I'm multiplying that, I could either do times 5 first or I could do 100 first. So let's do it both ways. Let's start with times 100. That means moving the decimal place to the right two times. So that's going to bring me to 1. Now I need to do 1 times 5, which equals 5. That's my answer. 500 pennies is $5. Now I also mentioned I was going to show you that the other way. So that would look like 1 penny or 100 times 5, which is the same thing as 5 cents or a dime. And then we're going to take that amount and we're going to multiply that times 100. So I'm going to move my decimal place to the right once for times 10 and twice for times 100. That brings me also to 5. I hope you've learned a lot about multiplying and dividing decimals by the powers of 10.